What's going on everybody? Elijah here. In today's video, we got this low-end budget PC. Cost me $170 altogether. Let's see how good this is. Starting off with the motherboard combo we got. Here it is right here. I just have it shown right by you guys. So this motherboard here, I picked it up. $20, well, motherboard, CPU, cooler and eight gigs of ram so i picked it up for twenty dollars i saw it on facebook or it was ksl one of them one of my two sites that i'm always on i have some of the messages i believe so but i did pick it up for twenty dollars i powered it on a while ago just to check it worked because i've had it for a while but i just needed a graphics card really but i powered it on i forgot exactly what i5 is in here so i'll take it apart and i'll uh, go over all the parts in depth but for now, it's a motherboard, i5, 8 gigs of RAM, and this awesome white little cooler. Here. And then, the GPU. Yeah, I know, GPUs. It's just a headache to think about those right now. I really hope the world goes back to normal, with computer parts at least. COVID, you know, that's the normal now, but computer parts, please give us our graphics cards back. So, sadly, I only have a 460. So GTX 460, I believe this is the one gig card. Uh, this was actually free though. So score for me. Now I bought some PC parts from this guy a while ago and he just said, hey, I'm just giving this away. I don't need it. It's not that good of a card. It's a really old card. Only has DVI. <laughs> As you can see, no HDMI, no display port, nothing like that. So it is pretty old. PNY Enthusiast Edition. So hopefully it's good. It's overclocked. That's what it says. It's overclocked out of the box. Uh, that's a graphics card. The case, it's just right behind you guys. It is the DIY PC case. Uh, this was probably like $50 or so. I'm not sure, I bought it a while ago. I'll unbox it, but yeah, $50 on a new egg. It was on sale, super good deal. I think it's a tempered glass and everything. So the case is tempered glass, RGB. I believe it's white too. I don't remember, I got it a while ago, but uh, you guys seen the clip. Uh, before this so those are the main parts and then i'm just going to be throwing in a power supply that i just have laying around i think it's a 450 watt oh geez so this graphics card takes a two six pins here so i'll have to use something beef for storage i just have a 500 gig ssd that i'm going to be throwing in there no hard drives nothing I'm trying to help out this old hardware here uh let's just get it built and see how it performs Down below and drop a like for that awesome peel first off this case is awesome for the price you get rgb tempered glass it also has captive thumb screws removable pci covers now let's talk about those somewhat awesome benchmarks first off fortnite i tested it at 1080p pro settings which is epic vita since everything else low with a cap of 60 fps and it was basically unplayable there was rendering problems. It would process that there was an object in your path, but the object wouldn't appear. So you would just end up running into like an invisible tree for an example. With these settings, it got a lousy 49 FPS average. Now switching the rendering mode over to performance mode with the 120 FPS cap, we got an 82 frame per second average. It was way more playable than 1080p pro settings, but it was still really jittery and laggy, not as smooth. 
so then I limited it to 60 FPS. It didn't get the highest average coming in with an average of 57, but this was by far the smoothest gameplay out of all the settings I tested. Map! Moving on to a title that runs on everything, supposedly. <laughs> Rainbow Six Siege, running the in-game benchmark first in 1080p. With medium settings, we got an average of 37. Then I dropped the settings to low, still in 1080p, and managed a 49 FPS average, but that wasn't good for me. I was trying to get above 60. So then finally, dropping the resolution down to 720p with low settings, we managed to squeeze a 78 FPS average. And this was by far the smoothest one. It was the less jittery out of all three. The last title being the infamous GTA 5, one really optimized title, and that shows in the benchmarks. We played at 1080p, normal settings and managed 110 fps average and if you guys know how gta runs then you know it runs pretty stable the numbers are usually always consistent so for the price of 170 dollars this pc isn't bad but then it is first off we couldn't even play newer titles such as call of duty it wouldn't even let us load it into the game something with the graphics card not supporting DirectX 12 with it being so old it wouldn't even launch the game so you're limited to older titles or easier to run titles such as esports, for example, like Fortnite and Rainbow Six and all these other ones. Second off, there is no upgrade path. Uh, the Soccer Type 1156, it is completely dead. It is so old, it's first gen Intel. So you're stuck unless you upgrade the whole platform, which is motherboard, RAM, CPU. If you are on a really slim budget, I recommend going with an Optiplex can watch this video here somewhere here <laughs> with that being said thank you guys for watching drop a like down below if you enjoyed dislike if you didn't consider subscribing and i'll catch you guys later peace